So I just started using Lightroom and uh, I want to get more practice in. So uh, let's go take some pictures. But first thing first, let's go get some coffee. Park used to be a lot more um, grungier and now it's just been completely gentrified so the main streets don't really have anything that caught my eye. So I'm in the back alley off of Milwaukee Avenue and uh, I think I just saw something I want to take a picture of. So this is a spot I've uh, wanted to check out for a while, but uh, no, I finally made it. So lately I've been really into macro shots, um, and there are a lot of uh, half-dead plants this time of year, so let's see what we got here. So I'm done for the day, uh, let's go back to Lightroom and see what we have. Alright guys, welcome to Lightroom. Um, so I have imported uh, the pictures I've taken. And I think I'm just going to go through them and see which ones I want to edit. Now, before I start, I just want to say that I'm not an expert. This is not a tutorial. It's just for me to kind of record myself processing the pictures I've taken. Because I want to learn Lightroom and I want to be better at it. So I figure if I have to talk about it and explain um, the tools and you know why I do what I do, uh, it will make me learn faster. So the first series of pictures is this tree stump that has gone grown through the fences, and uh, I think instead of these ones where the edges are cut off, I think I'm gonna go with this one that shows that it's. Uh, the tree is not there anymore, but you know, whatever is remaining in uh, within the fence. I like this close-up shot, except It's not very interesting um, I don't know just to me it doesn't doesn't really Tell much of a story. So I'm gonna delete that too. All right, and this series of pictures I think I like these two the most Um this one, the train is just too small. Um, it's kind of it's kind of hard to see. So I'm gonna keep uh, probably this one. So this next series of pictures, I don't know. I thought they looked pretty good um, when I took them, but I don't know. They're just. Uh, I, I don't know what I was thinking. So I'm gonna get rid of all of them. And the next series of photos. Um, Pretty much all the same so i'll just keep keep one so we ended up with two pictures um let's start with this one shift tab to get rid of all the uh, panels and just the, the the tools panel um so when i was out there this it was it wasn't it was overcast but the sky is still pretty bright so all this is blown out uh, but there's really nothing i can do about it um, usually the first thing I like to do is crop, but this one is pretty much cropped the way I want it. Um, I'm going to start with exposure, I think. Let me see. I usually like to uh, pull up the uh, before picture, that way I don't go too crazy with the adjustments. Um, I think this is fine. Uh, let's see if we can recover anything from the sky. Nope. And uh, this this is what I learned uh, just recently. If you pull the uh, highlights down a little too far, you get these like blue fringes, blue purplish fringes. So just gotta watch out for that. Um, Let's see, 
the shadows. I like to actually, yeah. I'm thinking of. Uh, I don't want too much. Yeah, it's kind of washed out if we bring it up too high. There we go. And uh, the whites. So I do um, Alt and I click on the, the tile on the whites. Okay, let's. And I want to just slide it so that. There we go. And the blacks, I usually um, don't mind that if they peek a little bit. Okay. Let me see. Now, a lot of people don't play with the temperature and the tint, but I actually like it. Um, you, with just one dial, you can really change the mood of the picture. Um, I usually like to go a little warmer that's just my preference because um, I sometimes when you go to the cooler colors it just looks weird to me um, by the way I have no idea what I want to do with this picture it's just kind of um, winging it since I'm still learning uh, what um, these, these controls do Okay. Now let's see clarity. I usually don't like to pull um, clarity up too high when it's a portrait, but since this is just a stump of wood, I don't think it minds that if I show uh, all the cracks that it has. Let's see. Vibrance, um, honestly, I still don't know what it does. It just makes, to me, it just makes the colors look kind of funky. So I'm just gonna leave it. Like I said, I'm, I'm still learning. I just started using um, Lightroom. So if you have any uh, comments or helpful tips, let me know in the comments. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that one. Saturation. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that alone as well. Now the tone curve. Um, what I, my understanding is that it controls the mid tones. So if you want more contrast, this is actually a better um, control to use than the uh, contrast dial here. Um, I haven't really been messing around with it, but uh, let's see. Uh, Let's see. What the hell am I doing here? Ugh. Yeah, this is really, um, you know what? Okay, let's see. Okay, so I think if you uh, pull this up, you get a little bit of like the faded look. Um, that's super popular on Instagram. But I kind of wanted a little bit more contrast. I don't know. Let me see. Let me see what I can do here. Oof. I guess I can make the sky a little less uh, bright. That way it makes the uh, foreground pop a little bit more. Let's see. There we go. I kind of like that look. Let's see the before and after. Okay. <laughs> Now this uh, HSL panel, I still, 
I don't really use it that often because I'm just trying to like learn this, the basic panel first. But since we are experimenting, might as well um, give it a go. Let's see, is there any... Nope. I mean, at the end of the day, you're just literally playing with these styles, right? Um, <clears throat> the people who are better at it, they know exactly what it does. And for beginners like me, I'm just literally testing it out. I don't like that purpley tint. And this just makes it all kind of gray. So I'm leaving that alone. Yellows. Actually, I don't mind that uh, it brings out this part a little bit. So I'm going to leave it here. Let's see. Yeah. And aqua. I don't think there's any aqua in there. Yeah. Blue, purple, okay, split toning, I have absolutely no idea what it does, I've been, I've watched a few videos, um, I'm just gonna leave it alone, cause, cause I don't know what I'm doing with that, um, sharpening here let's uh, zoom in a little bit so we can get a better idea uh, ooh, okay now i don't think you want to do this to a uh, portrait but since it's not i actually kind of like uh like the details i brought out let's see what the detail dial does I, I mean, it's very subtle. I think it adds a little bit more contrast, to be honest. I kind of like it in this situation. All right, let's see. Noise reduction, I, I mean, this was shot at uh, ISO 100, so it doesn't seem like there's that much noise. I always uh, click these two, even though I don't think my camera's in, the, uh, uh, in Lightroom, it's a, rx 100 the first one but i don't think it hurts so i always do that uh let's see effects uh usually add a little bit of vignetting um i, I think it like kind of gives it a little bit of um, a darker mood uh, let's see and it focuses um on the subject this part uh, green, I typically don't use that. Uh, I don't know. I, why would I want to add more noise in the picture if I'm not going for that style, you know? Let's see. I I like it, but I feel like it's missing something. Um, it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't pop enough for me. So let's go back and uh, let's play with the contract style a little bit. okay 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 I can kind of you see that it's add a little bit of a uh, mood here I don't know I like I like the way it looks it just feels a little richer um, let me see if I can bring this up a little no it's too warm Oh, actually, I don't know. This uh, maybe will work better with a, as a cooler picture. You know what? Let's uh, get the black and white and see if that will work too. And it, no, I like the color. And maybe. Let's 
see. Okay. Um, maybe I can crop in a little bit. To get rid of some of this guy. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think I like this better. Let's see. I still need to figure out how to do the uh, <laughs> before and after pick. Short, uh, shortcut. But I, I think. I think I like. Like that. Okay, uh, let's see. Whatever this color is. Uh, oh, wait. I thought there was like a, like a little thing where you can. I don't know, this looks good to me. Um, here's the before, is the after. It has a very shallow depth of field, so like I, like I feel like, I think only this part is completely in focus. Uh, I don't know, maybe not. Yeah, it's a little bit softer here, you can see. Um, Yeah, there's nothing really I can do about the sky. Uh, I can try to pull down some more highlights, but I think it's gonna make make it look a little weird. Yeah, this. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Wait a second. Where's my Where are my train trap pictures? Holy shit, did I delete them? I think I might have. God damn it. Alright, let's import them again. Oh wait, no, let's go back to my folder. My, uh, my laptop is a little old, so it takes a while to do everything. Okay, let's import these two. So I can take a look at them again. Yeah. Okay, it's taking forever. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording and I'll come back after uh, it's done importing. Okay, we're back. Um, so I have to choose between these two. Um, I, 
I think I like this one better. I don't know why. So let's go with that. Uh, let's first the cropping. I feel like the train tracks and the train are the main subject, and I don't like that there's so there's so much um, dead space up here. A little bit is fine. Uh, let's see. So again, the sky is blown out, so let's check the exposure. Okay, right here, that's how I like it. Um, the white. Well, that's obviously blown out, but let's see if, uh, there we go. Let's add some depth into the picture. Okay. I don't know. I don't feel like this is a very warm picture, so I'm going to try and uh, dial tempers down a little bit. So, uh, you know what, let's see, yeah. There we go. Uh, tint, I don't usually touch it, because, um, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, and like, I feel like this dial, if you move it just a little bit, it becomes just, I mean, too green or too purple. But in this instance, I think I kind of like that uh, that greenish tint. Okay. Contrast. I guess we can play around here. Um, It's pretty high, but I kind of like it. All right. Let's see, clear, clarity. <clears throat> the higher it is, it gives it a little bit of um, that gritty um, feel to it. So I kind of like it since it's supposed to be a little gritty. Ooh, uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell that is about. I am not going to touch that one. Saturation. All right, let's pull up the up before and see. That's a little too, yeah. I like it right here um, so I can't tell you why um, <clears throat> I how or why I adjust these dials I just do it because whatever like looks good to me at the time um, I'm sure after a little while that I've learned Lightroom a little bit more I'll be able to say oh I'm doing this because of that but right now it's just because I like it let's see you can um, so I've learned that you can just use um, the presets here medium contrast or dark contrast um, I, I think I like the medium a little bit better so you don't because I mean instead of just dealing this with this uh, individually uh, sometimes it's just easier and you can make a little bit of a fine-tune adjustments here um,
let's see. I don't really know what to do here. Because uh, I feel like I don't... Because right now, a lot of pictures I've seen, they're just super saturated. And it's got that H HDR look, and I'm not a big fan of that. So I try to avoid that, but... Um, but I don't know, like, I mean, this... I feel like, like, okay, I can see that, uh, see this thing here. Um, and honestly, I don't know how to fix it. Even though I didn't really pull the highlights down. Let's see. If I, but if I bring it up, then the sky's blown out. Um, if you guys have any tips on how to get rid of this uh, blue purple fringing, let me know. Uh, let me see if this helps. Nope, did nothing. Maybe I can use the uh, adjustment brush and brush away. Let's see. Uh, exposure. That kind of worked. Let me see if I can bring down the highlight. What bring up highlights? All right. Let's uh, zoom out and see. That's a little bit better. Um, maybe I can't know. I like this top um, frame, but let's see if I can get rid of more of the sky. And that way we don't have to worry about. Actually, I kind of like that. Uh, let's see. There we go. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of like this better than the other one. Um, I think the sky, the blown out sky kind of takes away the, uh, the subject here. So I think we're done with this as well. And now the third picture. All right, I found it. Um, again, first thing first, I'm going to crop the crap out of this picture. Let's see. I want, I kind of want that stem to come out of the edges. All right, well, let me see if I can put them over here. Because I don't like this white concrete walkway. So maybe maybe let's bring it a little bit closer. Well, we're going to go with that. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was a little underexposed. All right, um, let's see. I feel like, yeah, we can bring up the highlights a little bit. The shadows. Yeah, I, I like it a little bit less. White. There we go, and the blacks. Okay, um, I don't, I don't know if this is the sharpest picture uh, I've taken. Let's do a one-to-one -one zoom in. <clears throat> it was kind of windy and 
leaves are moving around and I had a pretty shallow depth of field but uh, I don't know it looks fine just uh, there's not one point that you can focus on but we're practicing so let's see temperature wise I think I want this to be a little bit warmer not that warm There we go. The color just popped a little bit. And tint, uh, we'll see. Ugh. That's actually kind of cool. A little bit of purple in there. That was too much. A little bit of purple. Come on. Okay. And clarity, ooh. This is just, sometimes it's just, like at 100 it's very harsh looking. But somewhere in the middle makes, uh, gives a little bit more contrast as well. Vibrance. See like this kind of, unnatural green color I don't like besides it takes away from this thing whatever this is the main focus so I'm gonna yeah leave it at zero saturation let's see I'm using the um the center wheel on my on my mouse because I feel like it gives a little bit of finer Adjustment. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Okay. Okay. All right. Strong con. I kind of like the strong contrast here. And sharpening. I think this could use a little bit of that. Oh, that's too much. Let's zoom in and see what it does. Okay. There we go. That's just yeah, too much, too grainy, but. There we go. Hey, it does add a little bit of sharpness because here it looks a little um, unsharp. Let's see. Well, it doesn't hurt. Like I said, a little bit of vignetting, uh, not this one, but yeah. there we go. I think I like it just a little bit that's, that's noticeable, but it's not like distracting. Um, Let's see what else we can do. I feel like it's definitely well, way better than before, but it's not a very strong picture. Um, let's see if we can play with this a little bit. Oh. Whoa. Ugh. I don't know, let's see. Uh, 
let's get over here. I don't want to play with that. All right, I think that's pretty good. Um, I wish I can pull up all of the other ones that I have uh, processed before, but that's not the case. Um, so anyways, if you have any suggestions or tips um, on how to be better at Lightroom, um, let me know in the comments section. And uh, if you like this series where I take my camera out and um, it's like a mix between a vlog and a tutorial, well, a non-tutorial, uh, let me know. Hit the uh, like button and subscribe for more. Thanks. Bye.